We've got a new item store today. Let's see what we got. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. All right, so we have the Constellations Armor Door. The Sheet Constellations Door came out in the last shop, I believe. Not really the biggest fan. I mean, it's not bad. Definitely not bad. It's not that I hate the skin. It's just kind of like whatever to me, though. It's cool. It's whatever. <clears throat> then you got the Black Gold Helmet, Black Gold Vest, Black Gold Kilt, which I do suppose does look pretty solid. I still feel like I like the Dragon Rage. Like, I don't even know why the Black Gold set's even a thing when Dragon Rage exists, but, you know, to some people, maybe a little bit more of a cleaner look. Maybe people aren't really the biggest fan of, like, the Dragon aspect of the, of the Dragon Rage set. So, I mean... Can't really go wrong with a black gold set, I guess, right? I mean, it looks solid. I don't love it, but solid. Then you got the Quarantine Sar, just the nice white and black combo. Uh, you know, a lot of people like their full black, a lot of people like their full white. Some people like a mixture of both, right? Uh, solid skin, not bad. Then you got a Apo State pants. Sorry, I'm probably saying that wrong. Some people actually might like this. I mean, it's definitely a little bit more unique. It has that nice red... Uh, skull on it. Surprise, surprise. More skulls on skins, you know? Nah, nah, but, uh, solid hoodie and pants. Not really in my taste of, you know, style, but looks okay. And then lastly, we got the Skull Killer Road Sign Gloves. You know, like, if you like blue armor and stuff, then, you know, like, that right there is for you, you know? It's, uh, very, very simple. 99 cents at that. Yeah, solid skin. I mean, not really my taste. Again, like, I don't know, like, this entire shop has okay skins. I mean, I'm not really the biggest fan of, like, the hoodie and pants. They're not bad. They're just not my style. Same thing with the gloves. Uh, same thing with the door, kind of. The best things in the shop for my personal taste is the star and the blackout stuff, which even still then, I don't love those. So, honestly, sales-wise, sales-wise is not based off of my personal taste. It's based off of, what I, of how much I think they're actually going to sell to other people. So sales wise, I'm gonna give this shop a good seven out of ten, honestly. I feel like people are gonna buy that armored door because it glows. People are gonna be digging the black and gold set right here, the quarantine star a little bit. Some people are gonna be liking their hoodie and pants with the red skull stamped on it. Gloves probably probably aren't gonna be getting bought into as much, but you know, probably a little bit, but yeah, it's probably gonna be like one of the least bought items here in the shop. But Anyways, let's go ahead and hop on the server. Oh yeah, by the way, for my personal taste, I forgot to give that rating. For my personal taste, I'll rate this like 3.5 out of 10 for me. Not bad, but eh, not really that good. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys on the server one minute. Boom. Wait. Do I not have any wood left? A little bit right there. Okay, yeah. I'm going to get ready to go and buy a little bit more wood because, yeah, we uh, are going to be needing more. Is my neighbor's base decaying yet? It is not. I don't even know if that guy, like, like, I'm not too sure if he's active. That's why I said that. But then there's the guys up there. Oh, God. And listen, those guys that live over there, if you watched yesterday's video, is it was when I got the uh, double kill. I killed two dudes with two nades. And, yeah, they're, they're the ones that live there. So we got some new neighbors, my friends. So honestly, that might be kind of a bad thing for us, but uh, honestly, they're probably going to raid my neighbor before they raid me, just because he has, like, the slightly bigger base. <clears throat> Not only does he have the slightly bigger base, but he is also closer to them, so they can just roof camp as they raid him, pretty much, which is pretty convenient for them. So I feel like he's going to be the first one to go. Boop. Easy. Give me that beautiful wood right there, game. Let's go. What I do know, though, is that it is now time for us to start roaming around. Actually, dude, I wonder if the trio's online from over here. Oh, God, wait. One guy, two guys. Dude, who the fuck is this? Ah, this is interesting. I'm not gonna lie, I think this is this oh I mean considering the, the direction that they're coming from, I think this is the duo that I killed with the nades yesterday. I genuinely think that it's them. I don't know where the other one's at though. That's what kinda sucks, you know? I don't know where his teammate's at. Only thing that I can really assume is that his teammate's watching his body. Uh, who fucking knows from where? Wow, 
wow, his teammates are really going to be this scared. You know, it's like I'm not pushing the body, so it's like I'm paranoid like a certain degree, of course, but like, I am peeking. Like, this dude is literally not showing himself. So I guess that I'm going to move up. I mean, I don't know. I mean, like, there was two of them. We saw the second one, so... He could just be in the most clever fucking ratting hiding spot in the in the entire game, but like, I don't know, like I feel like I've cleared a pretty good bit of shit. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, no, there's two that are dead here. Wait, oh my, I swear if it's the same fucking trio from yesterday. I seriously swear, guys. I don't need it being these fucking weirdos, okay? Like, I really, really don't. I'm just happy that I'm under a different Steam name now, so they don't even know that it's me. I'm so confused on, like, where this dude is playing from. I'm so lost! Like, these, they just don't even play, like, there's a hazmat guy over there. Where? Psst, hell if I know, I'm just gonna start looting, I guess. I don't know. This shit has me so lost. Let me just say, I'm ready to fucking die, like, any second. Um, this guy right here, I don't know where the fuck his gun went. I only have one gun. Hey man, this other guy's gun, I don't know where it's at. So I guess I'm gonna go back home? Like, I don't know, man. Like, there's a Hazzy guy over there, but he's not peeking. I don't know where he's at. Fuck, man, I wish that I looked at the names on the bodies there. If if one of them was Ralph, it's the same fucking trio. And I don't even want to be fighting these guys continuously. I mean, it's like, if I naturally fight them, I'm not gonna hold myself back. But, like... <laughs> I mean, I guess that it is what it is, you know? It is what it is. What I can tell you is that I'm getting the fucking shivers right now because I don't know what to expect with these guys. Like, it took me so long to move up to the body and it's like, well actually no, maybe I couldn't see him because he had that fucking road sign set on. I'm out here looking for this other gun. I cannot find this shit, I don't know where it's at. So we have the name Marshall. Yeah, I'm guessing that's one of the guys up here. So this guy's name right here is Bobeye and Marshall. Which means that if it is the trio, the Hazzy guy over there is Ralph. But I don't know if it actually is them. Yeah, guys, sorry if this gun is, like, right here. I, I can't fucking find it, dude. I don't know where it's at. just leaving bandit bro he didn't even see me i don't think unless he did yeah one minute here oh shit he did see me this is a sar never seen this name i don't think oh shit man that kind of sucks for that guy 22 seconds so I can get back in here and then get back to looking at that shit. My god. <laughs> I think that guy walked up and he all looked back and saw me. Unless he was just chilling up there and then just heard me and then just turned around. But I don't know why he would just suddenly stop up there. Because the vibe that I got if he did see me, which I think that he did, is that he was just going to run up there. And just chill and hide until he hears me. Then peek, man. That almost seems like what he did, but I think that I was too far away from him to hear me yet. So I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. I think that, that right there should help us out a little bit. I'm, I'm actually just going to go home and depot, then just go back over there. But yeah, I think that it's like right there on the ground close. Unless it slid down in like a weird direction, which it might have. Like roll down this way? Like... Like, I don't know, unless one of them came back and got in, like, I just missed it, like, I don't know what happened, dude. It could have just slid across the whole universe, I don't even know, I'm just, I'm not even gonna bother, I tried. 
Actually, Chinook is over at Train Yard. We're gonna, we're gonna go and pay Train Yard a visit. See what's popping over there. See if we get Insta Shredded as soon as I show up, maybe. I have 27 rad protection. Okay. I think that means that I can get on top of this building. Actually, funny thing. Usually there's a bot that's inside this building. But there's not one here right now. That is because someone had recently done the card run here. Crate is still locked. That yeah, crate's locked, but it's open. You know what I mean? It's still unlocking. I don't know where the fuck these people are at, but... One of them could literally be, like, right up here. So, yeah, get ready. Let's be careful. It's even pretty chill up here. Okay, cool. Nice. There still could be someone that's inside this area here, though. I don't know. Who the fuck's here? I don't know. I don't know where the hell they are. <laughs> I can tell you right now, the second that I see someone start looting that crate, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to chuck a nade on that shit. Because the thing that's good about that... I just ended up hearing someone. The thing that's... Oh. Don't know if that guy's solo, but he had an AK, I think. He was definitely Metal Face Mask, I know that. And I do almost think that it was an AK that I saw him holding. I'm in here. We're gonna hop down here and we're gonna start kind of investigating underneath us, but we need to be careful. I don't know if this guy has a teammate that's like right around down here or what. Does it tell you the truth? If that guy's solo, I should be down there right now getting his better gear set. I should be, but I don't know if he's alone or not. So it's a risk, but at the same time, it could be a very easy thing to just walk up and loot. We don't know. Actually, I don't even know if I can even make a nade throw to that Chinook crate, to be honest. I mean, meh, nah. It'll land, like, right there if I throw it. And don't worry, I've been checking on the body, and it's not getting looted yet. Oh, God, now he's just, he's, he's of course, just behind it, you know, just, just, a vis just invisible. Did I kill the bottom guy? You, player, 19, yeah, to zero, yeah, I'm pretty sure that I killed him, actually. Let me just look again. Yeah, yeah, I killed that guy down there, then, okay. Didn't even down him, it actually killed him, dude, what? Alright, well, I think that I'm just gonna work my way down right now, guys. I mean, it's risky, there's... There could be people that are just camping underneath this building just waiting for me, but, you know, I have to try and do something at some point, you know, change the shit up a bit. Can't go that way. Okay, well, I'm in here. Ugh, God, man, I do, I do not like this one fucking bit. Let me just say that. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to attempt to loot the guy that had the shit. Looted. Done. One last body over here. Nomad suit. And the guy that died right there. Where this guy's gun went, I have no fucking idea. Does it even really fucking matter? Not really. Let's just try and get the fuck out of here, dude. 
I can't even loot the guy that's up there. I don't think. I don't think there's a way for me to get on top of that building without a minicopter. <laughs> the fucking first guy just jumps off the minicopter and dies. Like, that's what I was kind of confused about, right? So, you know, like, they came in on a minicopter. I saw one guy jump off, and, like, from my knowledge, he just fell. Like, I didn't know if he died or not, which he did after, you know, looking. He did die. So, like, when I saw the Nomad suit guy at the bottom, I was like, is that the guy? Did he live? Is this that, that guy's teammate up there? But no, it was just a random solo. And the thing that I'm wondering is if that random solo Nomad suit guy, I'm wondering if he was the, uh, the, the AK guy that I got this AK in full metal set from, and he tried coming back, maybe. That's a, that's, that's a very easy possibility. I'm just kind of surprised that I actually killed him. I don't know how I killed him. Usually, oh shit. Oh fuck, that's a wolf headdress guy. And it's like, I would fight, but I don't have any room for shit. And okay, we're now back home, dude. We're fucking stacked on, like, resources right now, dude. We're so stacked on resources. Even gear, too, man. I need to expand... Yeah, no, honestly, don't expand your base and get a shop down. You need to do that. Just so you have sulfur coming in like that. Yeah, that's that's such easy and free sulfur with how much shit you've gathered up on now. Let's go like this, this, this. Actually, I need to get my honeycomb done around this whole thing, so I'm just gonna do that right there. Above this right now. Boom, easy. And then I guess that my next way up, higher into the base, will be right here. That feels right. That feels right. I like that. Sure, why not? Again, like this base that I'm rocking right now, it's not even like a specific design. I'm just kind of freestyling a 1x2. So, yeah, that's kind of what we're up to right now. Boom, 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 okay. And yeah, I mean, I guess that right there is still more honeycomb, so yeah, we're kind of left with this right here, which this is actually not bad. I actually kind of dig this. Uh, I'm going to go outside and put down some honeycomb, though. Yes, yes, yes. Garage door here. Boom, boom. Nice, dude. Hell yeah. Progress, my friends. Progress. John Fartson. <laughs> that was my fucking Steam name yesterday, man. There was different players that I was killing, and like, they were like, John, <laughs> stop killing us. Hey, yeah, wait, is that John Fartson? All right. There's that box. And lastly, come on, you're going to fit perfectly. I, like, I know that you are. I just know it. Look at that shit. Come on, man. Let's go. Let me go ahead and add a very quick wall right there, and, I mean, shit, dude. We're good to go, I think. Yeah, man. Wait, actually, there's a raid going down. Let's just go counter that shit. Yep, let's go. I said that I wanted to be counter raiding today. I don't know, man, like, I've been thinking. I wonder if I should just start getting on this game with, like, a set-out plan. Because I always just kind of get on here and just go with the flow. It's like nothing's, like, really organized and planned out. I feel like maybe we should start trying to plan out, like, each episode. I feel like that would, uh, be a pretty cool shift and difference to the videos. <clears throat> I mean, I like, do, this shit's cool, but there's just, like, times where it's like, what do I want to do? And it's like, well, if you could actually, you know, think, like, before getting on, like, okay. And today, in this session, I'm going to get this done. Whoa, that was laggy. And, okay, freeze frame. So, a little bit of context. Server kind of feels like it's been getting DDoS over the past, like, 10, 20 minutes. Nothing crazy. I mean, like, the, there's, like, massive lag spikes, but the server's not going down. So, yeah, just keep in mind, if, like, you're seeing lag, that's kind of what's going on, and, uh, yeah. Listen, man, I got nades to be using here, too. I just hope that I don't get shot in the back randomly, because there's an easy chance that I might. Yeah, there's not a way to climb up, I don't think. The thing is, though, if I kill one of them, they're going to have to get up somehow. These guys think they're so... That shit just lagged so fucking bad. the lag on this server.
Jesus, dude. I... Okay, 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 okay. Alright, alright. The leg just now fucked me. Big time. And are these guys friends? Wait, I never look at my detailed stats. Oh. This... He's not even aware that I just got shot from somewhere else. Okay. By the way, if I did not say it past five, GG well played. Then that I just kind of started instantly bitching about the lag. Uh, lag is lag, and well, it's kind of an uncontrollable thing. Because I don't think that it's just on my side. Like, I have videos and shit playing, and might be like, well, maybe that's why you're lagging. Not like, my internet speed is good enough to be having a house full of people streaming and me be playing games at the same time. So I know that it's not that. Oh boy, here we are just now. It's just a naked over there. I think this right here is the guy that ended up shooting me in the back previously. Yeah, honestly, I think that I'm just going to rush up here and just kind of see where it goes. Um... Oh shit, dude, this guy died up here. What the fuck? I did not notice that. <laughs> I'm climbing up here. Shit, dude, my bad. Is there anything that's actually left in here? I don't think so. Oh, charcoal, actually. That's actually kind of big. Dude, this guy's M39 broke. That is so shitty. Wow. Alright, well, I mean, fuck. Alright. I go and reload this right here up super quick, and I guess go to move on with my de- Oh, shit! Lag, lag, lag. I'm just trying to make sure that, like, the second that I leave, it's not lagging like crazy, because another lag spike's about to come. Yep, right there, that's it, yeah. Honestly, dude, fuck it, let's just go. Yep, yep, yep. Making a run for it right now. Is it gonna work out? Eh, I don't know about that, you know, like, I wouldn't really say that, okay? I don't know if I would say anything as bright as it working out, okay? Nice rock base right here to the left, I'm digging it, I'm digging it. Not really like the most pretty base in the world. Like, it's not like symmetrical and shit like that. But guys, guys, you know what? I've been thinking about this shit over the past, you know, little while, right? Actually, I think that I thought about it like a year or two ago as well. Just like a small thought. And, and like, I never really said anything about it. But I feel like too many of us are making symmetrical bases. Why are we making all of our bases symmetrical? It sounds kind of stupid. Like, does the look of it really matter that much? Because you can make a base not symmetrical, and it's going to be so much less predictable. And I feel like that trade-off is worth it. So I don't know, man. I might try and come out with a base design eventually. And it's just like the non-symmetrical base V1. Then I can just come out with V2, V3, V4. And just... They're just bases that are just not predictable to raid at all. And I'll even try and make it to where you can customize it into like different ways to where people don't know exactly how you have it set up. Cause yeah, like, that's always like kind of the goal. Like anytime that like you make a base build video, you always want to kind of try and make a base that's not going to be, you know, garbage and extremely predictable. So like you like to try, so I like to try and add like secret loot rooms and shit inside my designs and not ones that are in the fucking tour of the build either, only in the build. Got a lot of charcoal back right there though, man. That's actually dope. We kind of needed that charcoal, so that's actually... There wasn't that much loot in the base itself, but listen, the charcoal's a W for us. Is the ladder broken? Oh, that's still going all the way up, okay. It's interesting. Okay. Boop. Nothing. Okay. And I mean, this is just a solo player, and to be honest, dude, you can just 2C4 down and get everything. That's kind of nuts. Oh my gosh. The thing is, though, which way goes down? 
Th oh yeah, do this right here. Okay, yeah. Oh, this actually gives away the entire fucking base layout just because this garage door is pointing inward. So pretty much, you go down, you take a right, you wrap around right here, then you're in, then this right here is TC. Oh my god, dude, we could actually fucking finish this. And I feel like it'll actually be decent, too. Oh boy, here we go, man. It's time. It's time. It's time to go out and time to go do this whole thing. All right. That's if it's not already finished somehow. Who knows, man? Someone might have already finished the raid. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to take stuff for a bag, though, real, real quick. And yeah, man. I guess let's just go. Let's go do this thing. Let's see where this raid goes. I'm excited. I'm excited to go over there and see what's inside because I feel like those guys, I feel like they could have stayed on and finished it, but I don't think that they did. I think that I would have heard the satchels, but yet again, I was just finishing up watching a little bit of football as I ate, so. <clears throat> Sorry, Bears fans. You guys actually almost won that shit, man. It was, like, <laughs> inches away. Right there at the end, man. Almost fucking got that catch and got that TD, dude. Oh, my God, dude. Fucking fourth down there, like, the four-yard line. Throw it. Dude catches it, like, on, like, the line of the fucking end zone and just barely gets knocked out of it, out of bounds, like... Oh my god. It's pretty devastating for Bears fans. Oh shit, dude. Motherfucker, dude. Oh my god. Of course he gets on and seals. Of course, of course, of course. Oh shit, dude. I have two C4 and I don't even know what the fuck to do with it now. Well? Shit, dude. I could not really find something. I mean, it's not like I was really roaming that much. Like, I just ended up making a big Yui and just running back home over here. I don't know. I guess that I might as well just depot the 2C4 and the Molotov and just go outside without it and just look. Now, since I'm back home, at least. Had a hazmat, but he's not even wearing it. He just doesn't want to get spotted as a hazy guy and get killed by geared guys, but... I mean, if you're holding a pistol like that, you're gonna get killed, most likely. Oh yeah, Dylan, by the way, make a fucking shop today. Do not forget to do that, I swear if you fucking forget again. I meant to make a shop yesterday and the day before. <clears throat> but I guess that on both, though... Actually, no, not, not, not really too much yesterday, but the day before yesterday, I think there was a good amount of events that ended up occurring that I wasn't really expecting, and... Yeah, it kind of got me all distracted and made me forget. Uh-oh. Oh. oh, fuck, dude, there's so many guys here. Well played, GG's. Did not expect that guy. I, I would have thought that he would have killed the naked with the, with, you know, like with the pickaxe, but I guess not, all right? I guess they were maybe friends, or it was just kind of letting him just do whatever is, like, bait. That was a pretty solid run that I was about to steal, too, man. Jeez. And I was still going to fight the other guy. I wasn't going to run away. I was going to run away, get up. I was going to run away, get on that rock, bait him toward me from running away, and then I was going to kill him as soon as he pushes me, but, you know... There was a guy on the rock unexpectedly, and yeah, GG's. Uh, I'm going to take out Sar. Sar sounds like fun. I've been using a lot of SMGs recently, and I need to go back to Sar for a little bit. We've been getting too comfortable with the SMGs, man. And SMGs are a lot less skillful than a gun like Sar, in my, in my opinion. The Sar is just a lot more of like an aim-based gun. Like, you have to reset and aim continuously, so. That is why semi-auto guns are more skillful than fully auto guns, I feel like. Kind of debating on editing up this video tonight, just so I can drop a 1440p video again. It's been 
It's been a little bit, man. It's definitely been like a few likes. No, I think that I've uploaded a couple 1440p videos in the past month. I was mainly doing them, but dude, on this schedule, I started dropping late videos due to processing issues because sometimes 1440p for me can be fully done processing in 10 minutes. Then there's other times where it takes an hour or two. And since I'm editing in the morning currently, that shit like will fuck me if I render in that uh, quality. Unless I wake up a few hours earlier, which I, which also I've been getting to bed too late. So then I've been like kind of undersleeping as well, and uh, which is my own fault. I shouldn't be going to bed so late. That was about to be a pretty fun fight over there, though, man. Fuck! Why did that other guy just have to be on the rock right there, man? That was so perfect for him. And honestly, he probably died because all that he heard was a Thompson shooting. And, like, that's really it. And so after he killed me and I was the Thompson guy, it's like, he probably walked up to me, looted me, then the other Tommy guy probably lurked up and killed him. See, now I'm back over here and nobody's outside. It's not cool. Oh, yeah, dude, this guy came down and died. Oh, shit. Damn. Yep, dude, this guy, Dante. Yeah. Oh, fuck, dude. Some shit was actually left on my body. Damn. I'm happy that I got my nades back. That makes me happy. Rest in peace, I guess. Oh, guy over there mining. With a jackhammer. Wait, dude, actually, I'm not even kidding. This guy kind of looks like the dude that killed me. I just now saw, like, hide clothing on him and shit. Why do I actually feel like this right here might be my guy? Watch him have everything on him, too. Jesus, didn't see the fucking thing of wood right there. <laughs> I'm 9-2. This is the first guy that I killed, I think, then. Oh, I think that's my guy. Considering that right there is the direction that this guy was mining in originally. And then he worked his way over here. He hasn't mined up too much, so yeah, I think that right there is his fucking teammate. The guy with the Tommy. Because they were friends. They definitely were friends. They were traveling together. And I think that... I don't know, man. That Tommy guy sounded like he just now got shotgun. I wasn't paying perfect attention, though. Oh. Let's not hurt someone. Uh, fuck me. Fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. Yes. Fuck me, indeed. I do not feel safe right now. What so fucking ever? Did I miss stuff on the body? Of course. Dylan, you should have put on the full metal set, you fucking idiot. Well, the chest piece was broken, so that's why I didn't, okay? Stop talking to me like that. That was lucky, though. Jesus. I was not ready to fucking run into a full metal guy right there. Not ready at all. And there was actually a Tommy guy back there. He was about to just now fucking clean me up. Thankfully, that didn't happen. I'm grateful. Thank you, RNG, for letting the timing be in my favor right there. So far. the time I mean, timing might fuck me on the way home right now. And actually, that AK guy, he only had a laser, so he couldn't even put on a fucking flashlight. Oh, man, that, that actually kind of hurts for him. I and mean, I was sure to take the metal face mask and the kilt, but everything else, dude, not taking it. Well, I mean, I wish that I could if... I mean, I would if I could, but, you know... The solo life. That dude had a huge fucking run on him, though, dude. My god. Okay, well, that's a good rebound run. Assuming that I make it home. Why the fuck did Twitch just now send me 59 bucks? Okay, well, to the people that are supporting my Twitch and subbed, thanks, I guess. <laughs> I mean, you guys are getting nothing in return. Um, wow, man, that's actually... I mean, unless the, there's just people that subbed to me back when I streamed a long time ago that just ended up forgetting... I don't know if there's anyone that's actually subbed to me that's, like, intentionally subbed, so... If you ever subbed to me on Twitch and you didn't remember to cancel it, be sure to go over there and check, because you might be losing unnecessary money in your account. <clears throat> but I don't know, I mean, like, some people like to stay subscribed just so, you know, like, if I start streaming, they can be like, well, I got the four-year badge. Just, like, out of nowhere, like, I just... Well, because, like, I've had very small phases with streaming, not any time recently. 
it was a few years ago. My friends used to push me and push me and push me to start streaming, and I would just never do it. But then eventually, you know, I get to a limit of like them just shoving me and shoving me and shoving me, where I where I eventually just hit start streaming, and uh, and actually kind of a shitty thing, right? So I started streaming. Finally, ended up breaking out of the shell and like started streaming and started getting a little bit used to it. I think as well. But I mean, like, I was streaming Rust, and I feel like I wouldn't really like doing that nowadays just because you can get stream snipes so easily. But, <clears throat> you know, like, I was getting used to it, you know? It was nice. And then next thing you know, I get indefinitely banned from Twitch. Now, how did that happen, right? So I was in a Escape from Tarkov streamer's chat. And again, like, I'm just trolling when I say this dumb shit, right? But one of the mods ended up reporting me. And, and I mean, like, I would never say anything like this again. Like, it taught me a lesson to not do it again. Plus, now I have a bit more of a reputation, so I'm not going to be saying silly shit in chats. But pretty much all that I said is that like there was someone in the, you know like, there was someone in the chat, and then I just added them and said, hey, I'm gonna show up to your front door and jab you. Like that was it. And like it was, and like it's a complete joke. Like there were different people in the fucking chat laughing at it, and like including him. I'm pretty sure the dude that I ended up saying it to ended up like putting like the lol emoji or some shit. It's like then one of the fucking serious mods reports me, gets me indefinitely banned. I'm banned for months. Until I get unbanned, and then at that point, it's like, okay, I'm not streaming anymore, because I'm not used to it. And, like, I was getting used to it, but I, uh, I didn't really have the desire to return after that shit, though. Plus, honestly, like, if I start streaming, I'll probably, I'll, I'll probably just do it here on YouTube, or, like, exclusively in my Discord or something, because... I don't know, man, I, like, I don't really... Twitch is... Ugh, I don't know. There's been a lot of dumb shit going on with Twitch, and, well, I mean, not just now, but for years and years. There's just been constant stupid shit going on on that platform. Shit that's just not fair. It just, it doesn't even really sound fun to even, like, do anything on that pla uh, on that platform. The only thing that is good about that platform with streaming is that, one, it's made for streamers, obviously. And, two, the emotes. That's all that they have. And, actually, me and a friend uh, ended up talking about this, and it was pretty much, uh... They need to come out with YouTube.tv. Pretty much YouTube, right? Like, when you get on your YouTube, uh, you know, on how at the top left, it says YouTube. And, like, you can tap that to, like, go to, like, your homepage and shit. They need to add a YouTube.tv button up there, click on that, and then pretty much it'll redirect you to a streaming service website ran by YouTube, and they could literally replicate exactly what Twitch has, it, well, as much as they can without getting into legal trouble, right? As much as they possibly can rep, uh, replicate from Twitch's layout without getting into legal trouble, and then at that point, YouTube has a good streaming system, right? Because that's kind of the thing, YouTube doesn't have the best... You know, shit for streaming, like, you know, Twitch is the better platform for streaming at the moment when it comes to uh, growth and all that shit. Even though still on Twitch, it's fucking very, very difficult for people to start streaming and grow, but <clears throat> it's very, very easy, man. It's easy for YouTube to just take this shit, and then at the end of the day, it's going to be Google versus Amazon on who can buy, you know, these streamers. And I feel like YouTube would win because I feel like a lot of these streamers that are currently signed to Twitch don't really fuck with Twitch anymore. They just have a decent deal and are locked up in contracts so they can't switch. So, um, Plus, it is a business decision that they're going to have to make at some point. Like, hey, do I go with the good integrity move and switch over to YouTube and possibly lose some viewers and subs and all like this money and shit over here on Twitch? Or do I stay here, go against the integrity... So that I still stay comfortable in this position business-wise, right? So, I don't know. It's gonna... It's honestly up to the streamers on if Twitch lasts. It, it fully depends on them. But they are locked up in contracts right now. And there's no way to really get out of those. So, once the contracts expire, I guess we'll see what happens. But even still, like, YouTube needs to make a new system if... People are going to start switching over like crazy. Anyways, though, I think that I'm going to go ahead and end it. I want to use up these 2C4 right here, but... I don't really want to rush and look for something super, super quick. So I'm going to save that for tomorrow to like to, uh, to start out tomorrow's video if we're not rated on here already. But off camera right now, I'm going to be setting up a shop, a sulfur shop, and we're going to see how much sulfur we end up waking up with tomorrow. It might not be shit. I don't know. I'm going to have to, you know, make the prices good compared to all the other shops on the server. So, yeah, I guess we'll see where that goes. Anyway, I appreciate you and your time, your presence. Uh, with being here and making it here to the end. Thank you. Thank you And also shout out to all the YouTube members and patreon members that have continued supporting over there for exclusive videos and such I highly appreciate it and of course just for the viewers that always just come by here and just chill and hang out You know, I do not take you guys for granted. Okay. <clears throat> I appreciate you all equally, you know, no matter how you uh Support and watch whether if it's you know supporting just by joining my discord just simply watching my videos Boosting my discord with nitro joining my patreon becoming a youtube member like whatever the fuck you're doing man. I appreciate it 
even if it's just something, you know, like just watching the videos every day, I, I highly, highly do appreciate it. So thank you. And if you end up making it here to the end of this video, comment appreciation, okay? But yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out and uh, bye bye now. See ya.